Namaste. How's it going? The body is a good starting point to begin our spiritual journey from. This is our vehicle. This is our tool. This is our instrument. At first, the body is tight. It's stuck. It's clogged in the state of tamas, the inertia. And by consistently practicing the techniques of building strength, opening the body, yeah, the suppleness and the mobility, yeah, so we can break free from those stagnation. Yeah. And even before that, yeah, in the Hatha Yoga uh, discipline, the teacher will prepare you internally. Yeah, some basic internal cleansing, then the shakarmas inside by side this, you're going to be practicing your postures or asana. Yes. And then through time, yeah, you'll be able to yeah, break free from the stagnation and you awaken the silent dormance of the physical body. And this will lead to what? Yes, many health benefits. And then when we're healthy, the mind appreciates it. And we worry less. We're happy. I cannot remember the last time I was sick. Maybe more than 20 years. Even a cold there? No. So I could feel yeah, the moment, oh, there's something clogging my internal system. I could feel. Then just a round of what? Cleansing technique and it's gone. So that's how uh, important yeah, the physical and the energetic side of the practice is. Yeah. Asana and the pranayama, because they will promote and enhance and reinforce and refine your sensitivities to the subtleness, not just the energy, but even the blockages there, toxins. Yeah. You know when something is wrong. And you'll be able to yeah, sort it out yeah, right away, quickly, through the practice of those yeah, cleansing techniques. Yeah. And that's on the physical level. Yeah. Now, the energy-wise, yeah, you'll be able to harness more energy out of the breath, really. Because your inner body is so open. The inner body, the nadis, are, they're like the sponge. They can absorb everything. Yeah. So they can accumulate and store whatever you want or uh, entering the body. When it comes to breath, this breath that we inspire, yes, it's brimming with life force. And just imagine the many thousand nadis collecting yeah, the healing force and store the healing force inside the body. Yes. And this will manifest like sensations yeah, inside. Yeah. You can actually breathe through your internal cavities. And then you will be able to channelize the sensation, the energy, to points and centers you need nourishing, to the spine, to the brain, during meditation and pranayama, and you nourish the brain. You promote the health of your brain. And then these techniques, depending on the intention, can give you what? High energy levels. It could relax the mind. Yeah. It could still the mind. <laughs> yes. And then this is what now? Yeah, the meditative side of the practice. There's, not, there's nowhere but to go there, really, if you do it properly. Yeah. Because your, your internal system, your energetic anatomy will just do it for you. You just have to witness, and all you need to do is perform and practice the techniques your teachers give you consistently. If you do it right, if you do it consistently, it will happen. Yeah. Unless a teacher tells you to progress, stay. Yes, there is a reason for everything. That's even how boring a technique is, even how simple, even if you know you can do more, but your teacher would like you to stay, stay, because yeah, your teacher can see it. Because your teacher has been there many times over, just coming yeah, back and forth through the process. Yeah, yeah so um, my, the wisdom of this yeah, talk is, yeah, don't rush. Yeah? Yes, practice it yeah, consistently. Yeah. 
And if, you, for example, you, you experience you know, what, if you have questions, doubts, or if you experience the sensations as you practice, yeah. see so my consult with your teacher, so your teacher will be able to lead you through what? The next stage. So there's no amount of what? Uh, reasoning or intellectualization when it comes to the process. Yes, it's here in the mind, in the brain. And then some people are energetically sensitive to begin with. Easily, once they do that internal visualization technique, yeah. by just looking internally between the eyes, they attain higher meditative states. But is it the healthy path? Yeah. Because as I've mentioned, the nadis have so. And yes, the brain yeah, is filled with the nadis, but the brain can only handle much. And as we yeah, allow that electricity to accumulate in the brain, we might what suffer short circuits because we need to distribute this energy to the rest of our body. So our bodies can absorb. And then only a fraction of that healing force, that electricity is sent here just to stimulate the brain so we can awaken the silent centers that they are responsible for yeah, detaching from the physical energetic into the astral, spiritual elements, yeah, samadhi. And even the samadhi, the process of samadhi actually starts from the body. Yeah. It's like separating your physical component to the subtle energetic side, and then from that energetic side, you even extract yeah, the absolute of all, which is your divine consciousness. Yeah. And even if you are what? Experiencing all these, I say, meditative realms, you're still physically awake. You're still physically aware. Because any time you want to come back, you can just easily come back. And then when you come back and then you know the process you go through, yeah, you can explain things. You appreciate things. You know the where it's really coming from, and that just yeah bask into the esoteric realm there. But because really, it's there's a connection: the body, the mind, and the spirit. Simple as that. That's the term: My body, mind, and spirit. Yeah. They are really linked. Yeah. One, we cannot appreciate and then understand the essence of, well, for me, the essence of life in general, yeah, if we only focus on one aspect. So even if you're energetically sensitive, you've been through many times, um, attain higher meditative states, yes, come back. Yeah? Do the process in reverse. And you know, really, this is a humbling yeah, beautiful journey. And then, if you're like me, yeah, I started so low. I didn't know yoga at all. I was just enjoying it, actually. Yeah. And now going and attaining the higher stages yeah, is something which is attainable. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it's really where you are at the current stage of or stage of your practice. If you have questions about the physical, seek it, understand it, learn it. If the calling is there you know, to attain higher meditative states, just be patient. Yeah. Be patient. Good. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Namaste. <laughs>